Hi, I'm Patrick Fulop. This is Effective Martial Arts. In this lesson, a bodyweight back fitness workout. Five exercises you can do with no equipment necessary. All right, so make sure you're already warmed up. Uh, for ideas on how to warm up, check out our warm up for martial arts video. Now let's get right into it. We're gonna do a quick overview of the five exercises and then we're gonna go more in detail for each one. So first exercise, drag forwards for the lats. Advanced variation, arms straight, elbows locked and drag yourself forward. Bring your elbows to your ribs, just like so, like this. Nice contraction, you should feel it in the lats, the lat muscles on the side of your body in the back, lower back here. And the uh, beginner variation, uh, forearms flat on the floor like this and just drag yourself like this. Again, bringing the elbows to the ribs. Here you should feel it in the lats. <sighs> Breathing out every time. Second one, reverse shrugs. So we get our hips off the ground, just on the heels and the hands, drop in your shoulders and then flex the lat muscles again to elevate. Slowly down and then flex up, inflating the chest and breathing out as you squeeze, breathing out as you go down. Reverse shrugs, also working on the lats. Third one, elbow raises. So elbows about 45 degrees on both sides like this and elevate using your elbows, pressing your elbows into the mat and control the descent. Do not drop all your body weight down. Flex, inflate the chest. Slowly down, do not use your ab muscles for this one. Really use your back muscles, try to pinch your elbows together, bring your shoulder blades together, and inflate the chest. Number four, slow motion fly claps. So hands off the mat, feet off the mat, head high, and go backwards over here. Slow motion, thumbs up, rotate, thumbs back up and come back forward, nice and slow, good control. You should feel the contraction in all of your back muscles. Keep the breathing constant, try to keep your hands as high up off the mat as you possibly can. Rotation in the shoulders, working a little bit on the rotator cuffs at the same time. And all the way forward, just like so. Keep going, nice breathing, and always try to go a little bit higher with the head, the feet, and especially the hands. Nice and high off the mat, feel the contraction. And number five, for the upper back, traps, squeeze. So we're gonna go in a nice crouching stance like this, back straight, slightly leaning forward, and I'm gonna elevate the pinky rings up like this and squeeze the traps on top for about three seconds. Different angle right here, up, squeezing the traps, and slowly down about halfway, and hold it for a nice three second on top, and really feel the squeeze in the traps muscles on both sides on the upper shoulder region. Here, nice squeeze, breathe out, breathe in in between. All right, let's go in a little bit more detail for each one, starting with the drag forwards for the lat muscles over here on the side of the back. So, beginner variation, you're gonna start with your forearms flat on the mat, Palms nice and uh, fixed on the mat, so you use the uh, friction to drive yourself forward. And you're gonna be on your knees in the back, and you're just gonna drag yourself forward and try to bring your elbows to your ribs over here. And then you just come back to your position, and again, drag forward, squeeze on top, and come back down. You can do that one for about 45 seconds to a minute, uh, for one set, two set, three sets, okay, depending on the time you have to work out your back. Nice squeeze over here. More advanced variation, we're gonna keep our arms straight and lock out our elbows and do the same thing by keeping our arms straight. That's a little bit more advanced. So we're gonna go here and again, bring our elbows to our ribs, nice cobra position, feel the squeeze in the lats and go slowly back down. Breathe out as you drive yourself forward and come back down. So you want a good, uh, keep these arms straight. Very important not to bend like this and then push. It's a different exercise, working on a tricep, it's not wrong, but you're not focusing on the lats in this case. So you wanna keep the arms locked out and drag yourself forward. Nice clean movement using only the lat muscles over here. So very good exercise for those muscles on the side of the body in the lower back. Next one, reverse shrugs. So here we're gonna get our hips slightly off the mat. The weight is on our heels and hands. We let ourselves drop here in our shoulders. So notice my shoulder drop like this, and I'm gonna squeeze my lats to elevate over here, to get nice and high, inflate the chest. Should feel the squeeze in the back, and slowly down. So hold it for about three seconds on top. Feel a nice squeeze, and back down. Do you wanna breathe out as you squeeze? 
and breathe in as you go down. Really drop in your shoulders like this. You should feel a stretch in the lats and you should feel the squeeze on top. Again, 45 seconds to a minute, number of sets that time permits. <sighs> nice squeeze on top, then come back down. Number three is elbow raises. So we're gonna put the elbows about 45 degrees on both sides, push the elbows into the mat, and I'm gonna elevate our upper body by pushing our elbows into the floor. Notice the inflation in my chest like this, and I go slowly down. Do not drop all your weight on the mat, keep the tension in the back muscles, and go up like this, nice squeeze, and back down. This works the middle region of the back, like this. Very important when you're doing this one, uh, you do not want to use your abs to crunch up. I could do the same movement about, but not using any back muscles. Now it's only the abs that are working. That's not what we're trying to do. For ideas on ab exercises, check out our ab workout video that we published recently. So you do want to use the back muscles in this case. So the cue is your muscles in the abs will be relaxed and you're really inflating the chest. So it looks different. Hips remain on the mat and go up like this. Nice squeeze, three seconds, slowly down, not all the way. Just like that. And you should feel a good burn after a couple seconds. Okay, number four is a great exercise to work the whole back region, an excellent exercise for posture, slow motion fly claps. So we're lying on our stomach over here, elevating the head and the feet as much as possible. So that's working attention in the lower back, very good for posture. And now we're gonna bring our hands as high up off the mat as we can and go forward, nice and slow. Keep the breathing constant for this one. Touch the thumbs here lightly, go back in the back over here, keeping the thumbs elevated. When you get to the back, rotate in and out. That works a little bit, the rotator cuffs at the same time. Then you come back over here, thumbs up, here, thumbs connect, and come back, nice and slow. And always try to be a little bit higher with the head, feet, and hands, especially the hands. Try to get the hands as high up off the mat as you can, and you should feel a good contraction in the entire back, upper, mid, and lower back, and especially as well, uh, added benefit is to work the rotator cuffs in this case, which is essential for shoulder health. We're gonna get more in detail in this in future videos. Here, so nice, slow, slow, slow. Again, 45 seconds to a minute, whatever time permits. But the cue is when you're working out your muscles, you wanna just go for the feeling. You wanna go for the feeling of burning sensation. And that's how you're gonna get stronger. And the last one, number five, is really for the upper region of the back, trap squeeze. So we're gonna go in a semi crouch stance like this. Make sure your lower back remains straight and you wanna lean forward slightly here. And we're gonna go uh, with the pinkies up and squeeze the traps on top like this. And slowly down halfway and back up, just like that. Feel a nice squeeze, three seconds, slowly down. A little bit different angle, same thing. Up like this, feel the squeeze slowly down. This is very good exercises for the top of the back and the trap muscles. Make sure the pinkies stay up and you really gotta, you gotta work it yourself. You gotta feel that squeeze on your own. So you dictate the uh, difficulty of that exercise. Again, you're going for the feeling of burning sensation. 45 seconds, a minute, one, two, three sets, depending on how much time you got. All right, so that's your complete back fitness workout. Five exercises using body weight only with no equipment necessary. So quick recap, number one, working on the lats, you got your drag forwards with the option of having the elbows bent for a little bit more beginner variation and elbows locked out, arms straight for a little bit more resistance. So drag forwards for the lats. Number two, reverse shrugs, also working on the lats, a little bit different angle. So on your hands and pushing up, so you work that squeeze in the lat muscles and then control the descent, squeeze on the way up. Number three, you got your elbow raises. So planting the elbows on the mat, 45 degrees, pushing your elbows into the mat and elevating your body that way and coming back slowly down, feeling a nice squeeze on top. Be careful not to use the abs in this case, really use the back muscles to elevate yourself by pushing your elbows into the mat. Number four, we had the slow motion fly claps. So very important for the full back workout, going all the way up, here, thumbs on top, and all the way down here, keeping the thumbs elevated, little shoulder rotation at the bottom here to work on the rotator cuffs at the same time. And number five, we had the trap squeezes. So here, bring your pinkies up and feeling the squeeze on the trap muscles over here on both sides of the neck in the upper back region.
All right, so this video is part of a mini series that we're doing on bodyweight fitness training. So check out the other videos for the different body parts on our channel. Subscribe right now if you have not already. And uh, what's great about bodyweight is that you can do it anywhere, anytime. Now, I won't lie, for back training, having access to equipment, machines, free weights, and especially a bar that you can pull yourself up on is very uh, interesting and it can give you more benefits in terms of training. You can also use a partner for resistance as well. So another human body and uh, training with a partner, we're gonna publish a video about that for different uh, fitness exercises that you can do with a partner. But absent all that, you can still train your back and every other body part just by using gravity, your own body weight, and the floor. And this is a great example of how to do it. And you should. Don't take the absence of access to a gym as an excuse not to train uh, any body part for that matter. So make sure you got a complete fitness training workout program. And if you're an instructor, teacher, or coach, you can integrate those little segments into your classes to make sure that your students become stronger uh, with a complete and balanced fitness training program. You don't want them doing all the time push-ups. They're gonna develop unbalances in their muscles, being too, too strong in the front and not strong enough in the back. And that could cause injury uh, over time. So uh, since we've integrated these uh, in our classes, we've just seen a great improvement in overall strength and uh, no injuries from our students. So this is a great thing to integrate in your classes. All right, so as always, uh, if you've enjoyed the content in this video, please click the like button uh, below. Uh, leave a comment if you have anything to say, if you've enjoyed it. If you have suggestions for other uh, body weight back training exercises, leave them in the comment. We're always uh, looking forward to learning more, and it's good value for other people uh, watching the video and reading the comments. And uh, if you have not already, subscribe to our channel right now to stay tuned for other awesome fitness ideas and uh, martial arts technique tutorials in every range of fighting, striking, grappling, and wrestling. Till next time, I'm Patrick Fulop, this is Effective Martial Arts, practice well, and we'll see you on the next one.